Hi there. Uh, Ken Ring, Cook's One of Muncie. Um, made a video last week talking about um, how to say Cook's One and what it uh, means in English. Um, and I advertised that. I put it on Facebook, put it on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, right? Um, and I got a lot of uh, responses. Um, and one of the ones that I got uh, that I really hate to get is uh, somebody saying to me, you know, I'd really love to get involved in martial arts. I've always wanted to do it, uh, but it just costs too much. Right? Um, so I, I want to address that, right? Uh, that's what this video is about. Um, the, uh, in the past, right, the distant past of uh, martial arts schools, um, there were temples, right, Buddhist temples, um, Taoist temples, and students would, would go to those temples to train. There weren't all, they weren't always temples, but um, there were, you know, old guys that taught martial arts out of their house. They had a, um, and, and they had, it was like a commune environment, right? I, there, I have an old blog post about this. Uh, you can look it up if you want. But um, it was a commune environment, and um, students would come to learn what the master had to teach, and in return, they would uh, cook the meals and uh, do the garden, tend the garden, and um, you know, take out the trash. They just they, they ran his house, um, and uh, w you know, that that would be called a cult uh, today, right? Um, so we can't do that. Instead, uh, martial arts students pay tuition uh, to come to the martial arts school, right? So you support the uh, the teacher the same way, right, as, as in the old days. The monks, they, you know, the same thing. They washed dishes, they, they grew food, they went out and, uh, you know, did the, the Buddhist thing, right, the monk thing. Um, the same thing, you support um, where you're learning, right, what you want to do. Um, tuition uh, is, is how we do it today, but I don't just need money. Yeah, I need money like anybody else, right? Uh, you know, mortgage and uh, bills and, and, you know, rent for the school, whatever. But um, I need other stuff too, right? Um, and our community needs other stuff. So if you can't pay me, um, you can use your time. Um, and and we have, if, if you go to the, the website, um, I don't know what the URL is for the specific page, but go to um and and look for um, look for uh, the scholarship program, right? Um, that's where I, uh, that's the page that I talk about um, this, right? So if you can't afford money, then uh, you pay me another way, right? And we can work that out. That's individual. I've had students in the past volunteer for uh, Habitat for Humanity, um, the uh, uh, White River Cleanup, um, other things uh, like that. So I don't care what you do, right? But, but how can you support me if you're volunteering for, um, say, Habitat for Humanity? You keep a blog. Um, my program, you keep a blog and you let me talk about that, right? That's an impact that my school is indirectly having on the community. Um, so, hair thing. Um, yeah, you keep a blog, you write every time you do whatever you do, you keep a blog and I share it and it's, it's good for the community, it gives goodwill for the school, um, and, uh, and yeah, I might not be making money, but, uh, you know, hopefully uh, it's, it's good for the school uh, as well, right? The school grows um, that way. So I don't ever want to hear people say they, they uh, can't afford martial arts, right? You can afford it. Um, you just have to be willing to put in 
the, the time, the effort, right? So I can't afford it, not an excuse, right? If you want to do martial arts, do martial arts, right? If you want to, uh, no reason not to, all right? Um, again, Kuxelwan of Muncie, um, MuncieMartialArts.com, uh, MuncieKarate.com, they, they all redirect to the website, KuxelwanofMuncie.com. Uh, so if you're interested, give me a call.